Who's brother, coming back for us? God the Father or Christ the Son? It's no question about it, my brother. Listen, if the Son of God is not coming back, then the Bible is a lie. Because according to this Bible right here, God the Father is sending the Son back. He's sending him back. Why? Because the Son got work to do. What must he, what, what do he have to do, Murray? He got to judge us. Because the Bible said, a father judgeth no man. Mm -hmm. The son of God is coming back because he's our judge and the father is sending him back. Mm -hmm. Give me Acts um, 3 and verse 19. Let's help the people. Acts chapter 3 and at verse 19. My God, all you got to do is have the right spirit and you can identify the spirit of Antichrist when you hear. Acts 3 and at verse 19. What did it say, son? Repent ye therefore. Repent ye therefore. And be converted. And be converted. That your sins may be blotted out. Your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. When the times of refreshing shall come from where, Brace? The presence of the Lord. From the presence of who? Of the Lord. And what's going to happen? And he shall send Jesus Christ. He going to send who? Jesus Christ. No, God the Father is coming himself. He shall send Jesus Christ. Read it, Bracey. Which before was preached unto you. You know that Jesus Christ that was preached to y'all. Whom the heaven must receive. You see, the heaven got to receive him until, until the, the Father sent him back here. Hallelujah to God. The heaven must do what? Whom the heaven must receive. Read it. Until the time of the restitution of all things. Read it, Bracey. Which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets. Oh, since the oh, oh, oh. You see, God had already spoke this by the mouth of all of, of who? All his holy prophets. You see, you, see, you got to be holy in order to talk like mm. this. You, do you understand? That's the key here. In order to see this and talk like this, you got to be holy. Amen. All of them just ain't holy. That's the reason why they said the son ain't coming back. Said the father's coming back. Well, according to Acts 3, the father is sending the son back. He's sending the son back. My God, man, give me 1 Thessalonians 1, 9. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 and that verse number 9. What did it say, Brace? For they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you. And? And how he, how you turn to God from idols. You turn to God from idols? To serve the living and true God. To serve the living and the true God? And to wait for his son. Ho, ho, ho. Wait for himself. Wait for his son. Wait for himself. Wait for his son. Read it. From heaven. Wait for himself to come from heaven. Wait for his son from heaven. Read it, Bracey. Whom he raised from the dead. Oh, uh -huh. you, you see, you got to wait for his son from heaven. You know the one he raised from the dead. That's the one we're waiting on to come from heaven. I don't care what Geno Denny said. Amen. I'm talking chapter and verse that we can read. That's right. Do you understand? Because I can tell you right now, Gino don't, Gino don't know nothing about heaven. No, sir. I said nothing about heaven. <laughs> My God, man, in the doctrine that he preaching, he'll never know nothing about heaven. That's right. Read it again, son. What did it say? And to wait for his son from heaven. Wait for his son from heaven. Whom he raised from the dead. Whom he raised from the dead. Even Jesus. Even who? Even Jesus. What did Jesus do? Which delivered us from the wrath to come. Thank God he was raised from the dead. My God, right. he raised, he was raised to justify you and I. That's right. Hear me talking. He raised from the dead to justify you and I to deliver us from the wrath that's on his way. That's right. Hear me talking now. John 5, 22, son. Thank John chapter 5 and at verse 22. My God, man, listen, we'll spend the rest of this, we can spend the rest of this program showing you scripture that certify the Son of God is coming back. Do you understand? John 5, 22 said what? For the Father judges no man. The Father judges how many? No man. What did it say, son? But has committed all judgment unto the Son. How much judgment to the Son? All judgment. To who? Unto the Son. For what purpose? That all men should honor the Son. Read it. Even as they honor the Father. So now, if the Father judges no man, but have committed all judgment to the Son, have the Son came back yet to judge? Yes, he ain't came yet, but he's coming because judgment has been committed unto him. Verse 25, Bracey. St. John 5, 25. What did it say, son? Verily, verily, I say unto you. Truly, truly, I say unto you. The hour is coming. The hour is coming. And now is. And now is. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. Who gonna hear? The dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. The dead gonna hear the voice? 
of God the Father. Of the Son of God. God the Father. The Son of God. Read it, praise it. And they that hear shall live. They that hear shall live. Amen. Read it, son. For as the Father hath life in himself. As the Father hath life in himself. So hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. He gave to the Son to have what? Life in himself. Read it, brace. And have given him authority to execute judgment also. Wait a minute. He gave his son authority to execute what? Judgment also. Why? Because he is the son of man. Read it, brace. Marvel not at this. Don't be surprised. For the hour is coming. The hour is coming. In which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. Is that chapter and verse? That's right. All that are where? In the graves shall hear his voice. So all of them in the grave will hear the Son of God voice. That's right. Read it, brace it. And shall come forth. And shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life. What about them? No Son of God believers. And they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Let me tell you something. The Bible's talking here. That's right. Let, 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 look here. Y'all may not want to acknowledge he's going to be risen from the dead, that he done rose from the dead and he's coming back. But one day, my God, man, you're going to see him for yourself. That's right. Every eye shall see him. One day, all of y'all are going to be believers. But like little Kevin said, it's going to be too late. Too late? Amen. I said it's going to be too late. I'm glad to have Brother Mike back in the house tonight. Thank God for you, Brother Mike. Glad to have my brother back with us tonight. Glad to have Sister Ruthie here with us from South Carolina. Thank God for you, my sister. Thank God for both of y'all. My God, man, but it's going to be too late. You better try to be believers right now. That's right. Hear me talking. You better be believers right now. The Bible said, read that last verse again. Give me Matthew 24 and 30, son. Go over there. Let's certify some more here. Matthew chapter 24 and that verse number 30. My God, we could spend the rest of this broadcast just giving you scripture to prove who's coming back. Matthew 24 and that verse 30. What did it say, Brayson? And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Then shall appear the sign of who in heaven? The son of man in heaven. What did it say, Brace? And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. All the tribes of the earth shall mourn. And they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven. Uh-uh. No, no, Brace. They're going to see God the Father coming in the clouds of heaven. They shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven. Tell me that's God the Father. Yes, Tell me that. God the Father ain't the son of no man. Yes, never have been and never will be let God be true in all of your life